Ngayon ay magmumultiply naman tayo at magdi-divide ng rational expressions. At sa pag-multiply at pag-divide ng rational expressions, kailangan ay alam nyo na yung law of exponents at saka yung factoring ng mga polynomials para masimplify nyo yung inyong mga rational expressions. Now, ang pag-multiply at pag-divide ng rational uh, functions ay, or if rational expressions ay parang parehas lang ng pag-divide at pag-multiply ng uh, regular fractions. Kung meron tayong 4 over 15 times 5 over 6 at minultiply natin yung ating fraction, alam natin na yung pag-multiply niya ay multiply yung numerator at saka yung denominator. Pero i-incorporate natin yung factoring technique kung saan gagawin natin yung prime factorization ng ating mga numerical values para ma-relate natin siya sa factoring. Yung 4, 15, at 6 ay pwede natin siyang i-factor into 2, 2, yung 15 ay 3, 5, at yung 6 ay 2, 3. Now, kapag ginawa natin yung prime factorization ng bawat um, number, madali nating mamumultiply yung ating uh, fraction dahil maaari nating i-cancel yung mga common terms ng numerator at denominator. So, yung ating fraction na 4 over 15, pwede natin siyang i-modify into 2 times 2 all over 3 times 5. At yung 5 over 6 naman ay 5 all over 2 times 3. Now, pagsasamahin natin yung mga numerator by multiplication at saka yung denominator din by multiplication. At instead of evaluating or multiplying yung ating fraction, ang gagawin natin is magka-cancel tayo ng mga common term. And in this case, pwede natin i-cancel si 2 at saka si 5 kasi meron siyang common term sa numerator at sa denominator. At yung mga natitira nating mga terms which is yung 2 sa numerator at 3 times 3 sa denominator will be the product of 4 over 15 and 5 over 6. So yung ating uh, product ng ating fraction would be 2 all over 9. So yan yung pag-multiply ng regular fractions involving uh, factoring. At kung magdi-divide naman tayo, yung rule ng division is simple lang kokopyahin natin yung uh, first fraction at i-reciprocate natin yung pangalawang fraction. So, yung ating fraction ay ma-modify into 20 over 9 multiplied by 3 all over 15. Now, just like what we did dun sa first example, if a factor out natin yung uh, mga composite numbers natin, which is 20, 9, at saka yung 15, para maging prime factorization yung numbers natin at madali natin siyang simplify. So, meron tayong 4 times 5, 3 times 3, at 5 times 3 as the prime factorization ng ating 29 at saka 15. Now, pag pinagsama-sama natin siya by the rule of multiplying fraction, meron tayong mga common terms na pwede nating i-cancel. Yung 5 at saka yung 3 ay pwede nating i-cancel because they will just equal to 1. At yung matitira nating fraction or numbers will be 4 all over 3 times 3. So, ang um, uh, quotient ng 20 over 9 at 15 over 3 would be 4 over 9. Now, yung concept na ito ng pag-multiply at divide ng fraction ay gagamitin natin sa pag-multiply at divide ng rational expression. So, yung example natin na x over 3 or x plus 3 all over x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 4 all over x plus 3, kapag minultiply natin siya since factored form na siya or simplest form ng rational expression, pagsasamahin lang natin yung numerator at pagsasamahin natin yung denominator at mapapansin nyo na pwede natin i-cancel out yung mga common term and in this case, yung x plus 3 ay pwede natin na-cancel. So, ang matitira na lang ay x plus 4 all over x plus 5. At yan yung product ng ating rational expression using the cancellation technique. Now, yung sa example number 2 naman, meron tayong x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x squared minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 all over 2x. Now, mapapansin nyo na yung ating first fraction ay pwede natin i-factor out yung uh, numerator ang factor niya would be x plus 2 times x plus 1 at yung denominator naman ay difference of 2 squares so pwede natin siyang i-factor out into x plus 1 and x minus 1 so ang ating bagong fraction ngayon in factored form would be x plus 2 times x plus 1 all over x plus 1 times x minus 1 at yung second fraction natin since simple yung ating rational expression at hindi na natin pwede siyang i-simplify, pagsasamahin natin siya at pwede na natin makita yung mga 
factors na pwede natin i-cancel. And in this case, pwede natin i-cancel si x minus 1 at saka si x plus 1. At ang matitira na lang sa ating rational expression would be x plus 2 all over 2x. At ito na ngayon yung ating product ng ating dalawang rational expressions. So yan yung pag-multiply ng rational expressions gamit ang factoring technique. Now, sa pag-divide naman ng rational expression, yung 2x all over 3 times 5 plus x divided by 7x plus 2 all over 15x times 5 plus x, mapapansin nyo na nasa factored form na or simplest form na yung ating mga polynomial. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is gagamitin natin yung rule ng pag-divide uh, ng fraction which is to copy the first fraction and then reciprocate yung second fraction and then proceed to multiplication. Now, sa pag-multiply, since factored form na yung ating mga rational expression, pagsasamahin lang natin yung numerator at denominator. At dito, mapapansin nyo na yung 5 plus x ay common sa numerator at denominator, so we can cancel that out. At mapapansin din nyo na yung 15 at saka yung 3 ay pwede natin simplify by dividing both by 3 at matitiran tayo ng 5 doon sa 15x. So, pag pinagsama-sama natin yung mga nalalabing mga terms dun sa ating rational expression, matitira na lang si 2x times 5x at saka si 7x plus 2. And in this case, pwede natin pagsamahin si 2x and 5x. So, ang ating quotient would be 10x squared all over 7x plus 2. So, ito yung quotient ng ating first example sa division of rational expression. At dun sa pangalawang example naman natin, mapapansin nyo na yung ating mga rational expression ay pwede natin i-factor out. So, yung uh, rule is to copy the first fraction and then reciprocate the second fraction and then proceed to multiplication. So, yun yung gagawin natin para sa example number 2. Now, if a factor out natin yung mga expressions na pwede i-factor or factorable at yun yung x squared minus 36 at x squared plus 2x minus 8. Yung x squared minus 36 ay difference of 2 squares at yung x squared plus 2x minus 8 naman ay pwede natin i-factor out tulad nung pag-factor ng quadratic equation. So, meron tayong factored form ng ating mga rational expressions. Yung x squared minus 36 naging x minus 6 times x plus 6 at yung x squared plus 2x minus 8 ay naging x minus 2 times x plus 4. Now, yung denominator natin ay hindi na natin babaguhin dahil parehas na silang simplest form or factored form. Now, pag pinagsama-sama natin yung mga numerators at denominators, napapansin nyo na pwede natin ma-cancel si x minus 6. At in this example, yung x minus 6 lang yung pwede natin ma-cancel. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung mga natitira nating mga factors ng polynomial will be the quotient of our rational expression. So, yan yung pag-divide ng rational expressions at pag-multiply ng mga rational expressions. At kung may natutunan kayo sa video ko na ito, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.